Hi guys, Mike here again. Just want to pick up on a point from last time, and that's the um, <laughs> word called fasting. Uh, Matthew 17, 21, the disciples uh, said to Jesus, why couldn't we drive it out? And uh, he replied, because you have so little faith. I tell you the truth, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you, 2021. Um, fasting is when strength flows from God. Um, so it, it changes our thinking. It changes how we feel, how we act, and what we do. And uh, it helps the desires of God come to fruition in our lives. Um, Galatians 5.25 um, Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Fasting today is not a popular thing. I know we do it as a church every so often, and that's great. Um, really appreciate that. But, um, you know, a lot of people don't fast. I know when I first got saved, I used to fast regularly. Um, and, um, and not for great lengths of time. You know, some people can do 40-day fasts. Uh, some do 21. Some do three days. I've done several of those. Uh, Saskia and I, when we met, we fasted and still fast one day a week. So fasting and prayer are like, uh, if you're a fisherman, a rod and a reel. They go together. You can't really have one without the other. And fasting and prayer go together. What happens in a fast is basically this. Try and be quick now. It cuts off the earthly. It cuts off the, the, um, the, the fleshly. Pastor Willem's been talking a lot about that in our prayer meetings and that. Uh, but at the same time, it cuts off the fleshly stuff. It increases the spiritual stuff. And uh, when our spirit increases, the fleshly pull has a lot less power to do anything. Um, here's, here's a key for you in, in and around fasting. If you fast for a day, then when you would normally have breakfast, read your Bible. When you would normally have lunch, just take that half hour or an hour and read your Bible. Uh, when you have dinner, instead of watching TV, just go and read your Bible. And you'll see a change begin to take place. Um, you know, why let things drag on and day in, day out? You know, maybe you've got struggles financially. Uh, maybe it's marital. Maybe it's problems with a workmate or a colleague. Maybe it's your kids or something wrong with your car or just your provision. Or maybe it's your friends. Fasting will help get things under control. So I want to encourage you, don't lose the gains that we've got. Uh, Daniel is a great example of the power of fasting. Uh, that's why we call it the Daniel Fast. But um, just fast and pray. Be blessed. You're doing a great job. And I hope this encourages you. See ya. Bye.